Hello, my love. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I have a message for you. As you can see, I'm sitting in a new spot this afternoon, kind of, sort of. This is my office. I'm working on wrapping candles to get them out to those who reserve them. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. As you know, I'm slowing down significantly. So thank you again for your patience. While I was sitting here, I had to actually take a nap before I came here just now. And that's not really something that I'm used to doing, but lately it has become my new normal. This message came through as soon as I woke up. And actually, oh, the word that came through or the words that came through were inherent value. So as I sat with it in my meditation and I wrote it down, you guys know when I write it down, it's, it's real. It, it's, it's getting real, like, or it has already been real. As I sat in my meditation, I, I had to run and grab my journal and write this down. So inherent value. We can say immediately, I know my worth, I know my value, and sometimes we say it faster than we can believe it. At this moment in time, I'm not entirely sure who this message is for, and this is why I ask you to bring it directly to your angels and your guides, to the universe, to the divine, to God, however you define this energy, bring it directly to that all-knowing, powerful presence and ask if this is your message. I asked, what does this apply to after I received it? And I promise you, I'll tell you the message in a second. I asked, where does this message apply? Because when I sat with it, it resonated with me too as well. And I said, I could apply this directly to this area of my life. And the divine clearly is showing that it can apply to work. It can apply to relationships. It's going to be easy for us those who are this message is for, for us to apply it to our work, but it doesn't just stop in our work. It bleeds out in all these different areas. So be receptive to understanding where this message should go, where it should be applied. So inherent value was the, the, the sentence that came through. And like I said, there was this feeling of, well, we always say, well, I know my worth, I know my value, but do you really do you really understand what it is that you are contributing to this earth, to someone, to something? Do you really understand your energy? And with that, I immediately saw comparison. I saw trying to mentally, logically make a connection to connect the dots between you and what others have done, you and what has been successful, in air quotes, for other people, what is expected of you, um, and the, the divine literally comes through and is watching you kind of make these connections and pulling these cords from what you are logically reasoning as far as, okay, if they're doing it, this is what I'm doing. I have worth, I have value. This is what I contribute. It's so, this is what I love about the divine is that it's always so quiet, compassion, compassionately watching us, observing us, never interrupts us. And watching you try to put these pieces together and in this process of you trying to connect all these dots of like your worth and your value, you've co already completely missed the point, proving the point that do you know your inherent value? Do you know your worth? Do you know what you offer to other people? Do you know what you offer to the world, to the planet? So what I wrote down next is something very similar to creative energy and intuitive energy, but it's it's what it really is, is an essence. It's the essence of what you bring to the table. Now, for some of you guys, you could say, oh, I'm a counselor, I'm a healer, I'm a best friend. There are many counselors, there are many healers, there are many best friends, but it's your essence that makes you distinguish. That is something that is inherently yours and has inherent value. That is not something that anyone can create. They can try to replicate it multiple times, but only you can put the spin on things the way that you do and the way that you do it. As I said that, I'm feeling very called to tell you right now that there's someone here in this room, in this chat, right? We're gonna call the YouTube channel, now this is a room. I don't even wanna call it a social media platform. It hasn't been, it never has been. I don't even know why I diminish it for that. This is a room. We are gathered here today in this room. There's someone here in this room who has dimmed their light in a huge way. This has 
directly has direct impact on your essence. It's like, and this might be more of us than we think, it's like you are, if there's a comparison, it's like you're almost kind of doing what others have done. And even in that, you've kind of almost replicated the voice, the opinion, the, 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 the humor. You've lost your essence. It's one thing to be called to, it's one thing to be called to be creative in one way or to show up in a specific way. It's another thing to mirror it. It's one thing to be inspired by it. It's another thing to replicate it. And there's someone here that in in the pursuit of the journey, right, on your path, along your journey, you've lost a little part of yourself. You lost a little piece of yourself. And that thing is the greatest thing ever. It's your essence. Now, when I say lost, And when the divine calls me to the word lost, it's not that it's lost and can't be found. It's that you're not looking for it in the same places that you can originally find it. It's not something that you buy, that you purchase, that if I get this camera equipment or if I do this and if I go here, if I move here, it's none of these external changes. It's not even an internal change. It's something that you held on to that was given to you since you were a child from birth when you entered into this earth. In my opinion, I believe that for many of us, it can be tracked in our in our astrology charts, but astrology to me is next to life. But it's it's really like your your essence, your essence, the, the sprinkling of what you do that is just so unique and has inherent value. The next thing that I wanted to say is that for those that have separated from their essence and don't feel like, and for some of you guys, I'm actually seeing... I'm wearing dark colors right now, but I'm actually seeing like you might have cut your hair, like you might have completely cut your hair, chopped your hair. You might have done it yourself, which there's nothing wrong with that. But um, Spirit is showing me someone kind of chopping their hair. Um, This was when I when I'm seeing this, I'm watching someone kind of chopping their hair or scissoring their hair to as an attempt to kind of free themselves from not an internal thing, but an external expectation. And if you're not careful, especially being a sensitive, creative being, you can take an external um, trigger or an external uh, example and internalize it. And it makes you feel like it's you, that you are the problem. Now, this might not necessarily be you here now in this moment. It might have been something that you've done in the past because I'm feeling that right now as well. I'm also seeing that you might have... um, like the, it's like you went into like a dark season and you're kind of battling through it. It's almost giving me like emo vibes back in the day, which don't get get me wrong. I, I, I love that time of music when emo was like the thing. When you're on MySpace and you're flipping your <laughs> flipping your hair, but it it kind of is giving that energy where there's something here and it it may that might be specific, but it also might be a metaphor for the energy of how much. Your external might be reflecting an internal disconnection. In all of this, I want to tell you that the divine keeps wanting to bring me back into this space of, and I'm hearing this now, I'm hearing the divine say, I know you, like I know you, I know you, and this is not who you are. I can see through it. I can see through it to you, and I still am here to hold you in the same in the same regard i see your essence i know where it is i know that you know where it is actually now that i'm saying this this is kind of crazy because i just made this post on my instagram too and i didn't even realize the connection but it was like right after of course it was right after i woke up from my nap and i was just like okay let me move forward i'll i'll link it i kind of like wrote like a love note Um, to the collective on my Instagram. You guys know how I do. So let me read to you what what I wrote down because if not, I'll probably forget it. I'm already about 10 minutes into this video. So the divine said, the real gift, oh, the real gift from the creative realms is underrated and rare. Like real gifts from the creative realms is underrated and rare. With this when they say the word creative though it felt like it wasn't just like artistic creation although that was a huge thing it felt like or music it felt like what you what 
like what you create i don't know how to say this like when you it could be not a thing it could be the energy when you enter into the room you've created that you created that like your presence your essence your light and it's so easy and effortless it's some of you guys it's like i just saw like a ball falling in front of your lap you pick it up you throw it back now sure that could be directly connected to sports but more than anything if it is sports or isn't it represents how quick you are to give something your 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 speed your essence your purity your light and it's it's you don't even have to think about it like you don't have to think about it it just it just flows for some of you guys i actually i i really am seeing like a sense of like bullying or and ooh, it's not bullying from external world always sometimes we think the bully is someone else sometimes the bully is ourselves there's someone here in this room who has bullied themselves pushed like literally pushed yourself up against the wall and the the way that you talk to yourself the way that you used to talk to yourself your body remembers your mind remembers your heart remembers it, it hasn't forgotten that and in a world where people are very quick to consume to take to violate to desecrate to mass produce in this world you have to understand you have to understand your inherent value you have to or you'll get lost in a world that tries to bulldoze not everybody and not everything but it's oftentimes people energies want to bulldoze and destroy the very things especially now that are very sacred and unique and rare um i just wrote down most people can't do what you do and again there's this feeling that i get of someone trying to connect the dots between the comparison between you and they if it, whether it be one person or a whole world create whatever it is that you're creating here try to right because it's going to be real quick that we do this we try to connect the dots between what it is that our service what it is that we do for others and again this is where the divine says you're overlooking what i see in you yes i may have called you to show up in this in this specific way yes i may call you to help others in this way but that is not all of who you are i see into you and with that it's the essence the energy that it is that you bring and a part of you many of us within this room you might have lost that part of you when in the act the service and in the act and the service sometimes obviously if you care about your craft comparison it's as human beings it's hard sometimes to focus i think we all kind of struggle with that i'll speak for myself focus is my key word for life for a long time and my focus has been unwavering um that has been amazing for a lot of things and it has been terrible for other things where it's like that is all that i focus on to the point where i have no time no room to focus elsewhere and those things start to crash and burn yeah there's this message here that spirit says to be kinder to yourself and how and how this rarity that is the essence of you expresses itself be kinder to yourself and how this rarity expresses itself how it chooses to show up all the different many ways that it chooses to show up can you be kinder to yourself and also can you open your mind to see how your essence can be sprinkled in naturally and effort effortlessly into all the different spaces that you occupy and to take up more space to not shy away having said that my loves i then wrote the word others and then spirit had me write an arrow and say forget them like cross them out spirit says don't worry if others can see what it is that you offer what it is that you contribute can you see what you offer and what you contribute can you see how rare it is i also heard spirit say the divine say over time you will see it but time is really all that we have over time you will see what you offer and how rare it is but time is all that we truly really have and with that we have to be very careful about the present moment and and trying to make sure that we're bringing actual loving awareness into what it is that we're doing here now 
in that we are able to minimal sprinkle our own essence and that can be really hard. It can be hard in the face of others who may not appreciate you or others who are angry with you or have ex- have expectations of you. And it can also be hard when you face yourself, when you have expectations for yourself, when you have your own disappointments, when you are flustering in self-love and trying to figure out what, what does self-love look like today? How do I make self-love real and authentic and genuine and not something that feels forced or faked? And this is where it shows up differently, right? For every single one of us on our different journeys, it'll show up differently. And the answer at the end of the day, we can find it within ourselves. So the next thing that, and I probably should make this in a totally another video, but I'm gonna sandwich it into this one because I feel like it's very important. The divine says, focus on one thing, focus on one thing. When it's time to focus, then focus. And when it's time to rest, do just that. Rest is replenishment. If you are being called to rest right now, resting I felt was very essential too because it helps you to find your essence again. Especially if you've been someone who's been emotionally beat up or bullied by others, yourself, energy, whatever the situation is. Or you might be taking on spiritual attacks or whatever because there's been a lot of that lately. If you are setting the intention to rest, please do that. Focus on that. Focus on that and as many different ways that is that you can find rest in your day to day, even if that means if you committed to rest, don't scroll through your phone while you're eating your food. Don't scroll through your phone while you're cooking food or or assembling food if you're on a raw diet. Um, If you are exercising, try to, if you wanna listen to music, do it, everyone's different, but try to focus on the movement of your body. Whatever it is that you're doing, try to be present and focus in on that. Don't overwhelm the senses. That's minimum. Maximum, it's trying to let go, surrender these major goals, these major projects, these major expectations, promises, contractual agreements. And I know that for some of us, the the varying degrees of intensity of contracts that we've made, promises that we've made, things that we want to keep, that we want to hold ourselves to is very high. The stakes are high. I understand that. And if this message is coming through now, you have to understand too that the divine is going to come through and and protect you if this message is applied for you. And this is why it's so important that you go to the divine and you, you talk to them about it. What is what is this? And when I say them, I mean I don't I mean lack of gender. Like he she he she him her all of that it to me is crossed off. Them is one singular. And it has no no gender. Oh, this part. Don't rest with the intention to give to others, right? Don't rest and focus your attention on resting with the intention to give to others. Rest with the intention to gain. Rest with the intention to gain. What does this mean? When I sat with this, I was so blown away. I was like, this is how you know it's... (laughs) This is how you know it's not coming from me because I could never, I could never come up with this. When you're resting, make sure that you're not like, when I'm done, I'm going to get up and I'm going to give to others. That's a beautiful thing. Don't get me wrong. But spirit is, and the divine is coming through and saying that, oh, I see a ladybug. Spirit is saying, rest with the intention to gain because this is a moment for you to receive clarity, for you to receive love, for you to receive nourishment, for you to receive the energy so that you can flourish and giving to others that will come that will come and i know that we live in a world right now where it's all about consumer consumerism people want to take 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 when they take they want to come back they want to take 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 again and again and again and again and again they want you to be constantly available number one you're human that's number one number two unless you are mass producing, is it is that a realistic expectation? Or will your essence at some point dwindle or diminish in the over consumption of that? I also want to say that we also live in a world where it's not just what we are physically giving to others, it's our energy, our time, our attention span, our our compassion. Even though back in the day, we were all encouraged to be compassionate beings as often 
if anything, to put others before ourselves. But now that everything is skewed, everything is haywire, everything has been off balance. And I believe that divine is speaking to every single one of us today to not be selfish and to, and that you're asking for too much by finally receiving through your rest. But it's the fact that you, you are vacant. You have been over emptied and the parts of you that should be a well of a source of abundance have been depleted and it's gone on for too long. This is not a space where the divine would want that for any single one of us. We are, in my belief, living in somewhat similar to, I hate to say this, but kind of like the end times, you know? But there's so many things right now that reflect the violation of the earth and humanity. And instead of people seeing it and being like, wow, maybe I should try to do better Maybe I should be kinder to myself. Maybe I should be kinder to others. We almost take the same things that should be giving to us and we use them as a weapon and they, they end up hurting our planet, each other, you know? So anyway, um, so yes, I know that for some of you guys, it, that, that feeling of being like, well, how do I, how, how do I um, rest and with the intention to, to not give back to others when that's, isn't that what higher energy and higher love is? Yes. But if there's a part of you that is, has compassion fatigue, it is so important that you surrender the mass, the mass project or the mass, the literally the mass, the weight, whatever that is, that you give that burden over to the divine for now, set the intention and ask for the protection, the safe place for you to surrender it and to pass it over so that you can rest fully, not just physical rest or emotional rest, but spiritual rest. That too is also important. Oh, um, I also saw this word impulsivity, like impulsive action. And this is also coming from a very overstimulated place. And the more that, again, you allow yourself to focus on your rest or your nourishment or whatever is you're being called to at the season in your life, and you'll know it, it won't be a secret to you, whatever that is, put, give that your all and just focus on that and everything after that will sort itself out. And if it's not, if you can't let it go, you have to ask yourself, is this really from the divine? Is this really, because the divine will... The, the, the divine will give you the strength, the power to get through it. And if it's not, it's important for you to surrender and pass it on because it might not be the right thing. And this is not just your work or this responsibility. Sometimes also it's relationships, expectations. There's something greater here. Now, I have a second message that I felt very called to in my spirit. I need to sit with it, though, because I feel like there's more that's going to come through. It has a lot to do with... Um, you're going to hate this one, or maybe not, but forgiveness. <laughs> forgiveness was a huge thing that came through, and it has a lot to do with, like, parental figures. Yeah, that's going to be a heavy one, and I don't I don't tread on that one lightly. No, that's a, that's a heavy one. So let me sit with that one a little bit longer. I'm going to journal about it. For those of you guys that are being patient with me, thank you again. You know this is a different season. We are making our way. <laughs> to the finish line so thank you guys um until then thank you so much for being here i do invite you to subscribe to this youtube channel however if you are passing through it has been an honor i'm glad that you were here i'm grateful that the divine allowed our paths to cross i hope that you are well and maybe i'll see you in the future if not i hope you have a blessed life like for real i hope your life is so blessed and for those of you guys that are old friends and family to the youtube channel Thank you so much for being here, my noobs. Those of you guys that have just subscribed this week and those since my A1 since day one, like since big, way back in the day, thank you guys for being, for your friendship and for the sense of community because it's so rare. Speaking of rarity, it's so rare. All right, my loves, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.